Hey there, YouTube. This is Wine of Auto Nineteen here with another quick, uh, well, not quick, but another movie review for you. And um, as I promised, I said something on my computer back. I would, I would uh, do a review for the Final Destination Five 3D. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying right now, um, uh, it was a really good movie. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, pretty much the same story as the last one. It was a new little twist, you know. Uh, kind of spoiler, I guess. If you can see the trailer, you you kill someone, you get their life. That's the new twist in here. So that's pretty interesting in it. Oh yeah, by the way, for anyone who's this movie, um, there will be a few spoilers in here. So, um, if you haven't seen it yet, which if you haven't and you're a horror fan, it's kind of weird by now, but uh, it's been a while. So sorry about the late review, guys. But uh, here I go. Well, um, for what it was, I really enjoyed it just as much as I enjoy other FD films. Um, yeah, well, actually no, I enjoy this a lot more than other FD films. This is probably my favorite, or it's up there with FD. Final Decision 1, and um, it's either better or right up there with it, I'm not sure yet, but I'd really, really highly recommend this movie, I really did have a lot of fun with it, the 3D in this movie was great, man, like, um, on the bridge, this is part when Peter, the Tom Cruise lookalike, who is, um, Sam Spranley, who has the vision, he's, like, hanging on from his life from the bridge, and, like, these poles that go right through him, then he falls, like, near the, about to go in the water, but then he actually hits the counter, and he, like, explodes right there, like, his blood splatter right there, a bunch of blood that he falls in the water, I'm like, oh, man, that was pretty bad. But it was really cool, too. Uh, I will say that the opening disaster, um, the um, the bridge collapse, the premonition, was really cool. I think it was very well choreographed and everything. Um, it was good, uh, really good going on that one. The, um, it was really cool when um, Candace, um, uh, Peter's girlfriend, Fell off the side of the bridge and she fell on 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 the on the pole of a boat and she got a pail and her guts came out all crazy. Yeah, that was really cool in 3D too. So if you guys want to see this movie and you guys haven't seen it yet, um, I think it's still in theaters. Yeah, it's still it's obviously still in theaters, man. I'm not gonna say. It's only been like a week or two. Yeah, it's still in theaters. So um, I definitely recommend you guys see it in 3D. Uh, the view is really good in here. It was filmed in 3D, so you could expect a 3D. Good on my hand. Oh uh, yeah. Um. The deaths in this movie were definitely way more creative than the deaths in the last movie. These deaths really build a lot of good suspense. I mean, the last movie, they just happened. I don't, you know, like, I don't know where. Well, that's kind of good to be happy. I don't know where, but, yeah. I mean, it was really predictable because if you see the trailer, they show every single death in that movie, like, right before it happens. And this trailer, they do show a few, but not every one. There's, like, one, like, eight deaths in this movie. But, um, yeah. The only death I didn't, I particularly didn't care for very much, I guess, is Dennis's death and Olivia's death. Dennis's death was pretty stupid. It was kind of like the last movie, like, we got a rock in her eye. Or this one was way more gory, because, like, was like a monkey wrench or something, I think it was. It was, like, yeah, kind of this propeller, and it flew at him and, like, hit him in the face and, like, went all the way through him all crazy. Uh, I'm not sure. I think that was what it was, a monkey wrench. I'm not sure, though. That was, and uh, it was okay death. And, um... I did enjoy Olivia's death. She's the one who got the LASIK surgery. Um, I did like that death. Well, I liked what I saw of it, but I didn't like the outcome of how she actually did end up dying. And it, sorry, guys. I was fixing the headphones there. Yes. Yeah, I didn't really like the outcome of her death. Um, basically, she's getting the. She's having the. She's in the. Damn it. She, yeah, she's in the in the surgery. Like she's laying down on this table here, and the LASIK surgery laser's right above her. And, it turn, and she turns it on, like it starts heating up, and then she tries to stop it. And then she drops the, oh, I'm not up She drops the, she drops it and it presses the button and it starts the machine. So it starts like melting her eye, and not really melting, more like I don't know, like I don't know what's doing really, but it's, I don't know, like it's the same melting her eye. And she like tries to block her with her hand, and then her hand like getting up all these like scratches on, not scratches, like um, I don't know, it's like it's like sawing through her hand with the with the laser. But uh, yeah, that part was really cool. But then she had this teddy bear in her hand, and she was like squeezing it, she was so nervous and everything. And she actually ripped off the eye from it by accident, I think, I guess. And um, when she got out of the chair, out of the, from laying down from the laser surgery thing, she trips over the, the the bear's eye, the teddy bear's eye, and she falls out a window, and and she just dies. Gravity killed her. I thought that wasn't too creative. That the outcome of death. It was cool that her eye came out, and after like her eye came out, fell out of her head, I guess. And then a car ran over. That was pretty cool, but. Yeah, that death could have had a better outcome, but it was pretty good. Um, if you guys know my overall impression of the FD series, I, I have a lot of fun for what they are. First one was great, second one was good, third one was good, fourth one was just okay. And uh, this one I really enjoyed. Um, 
the twists and all the twists and turns in the movie are really great. The one with um, you kill someone, you get the live like um, have name I think Nathan was his name. And he killed this douchebag at work by accident. Like he pushed him and like he got hooked on yeah on this like a hook went through um his head and the big hook that was on chains like that. It went through his head and uh so I killed him and basically you kill someone you get their life. So Nathan got his remaining years or days whatever he has everything but uh so he that skips him and we just move on to the other you know the remaining cast to kill the Marilyn and Peter actually it turns out to be kind of a douchebag so he figures he's not gonna kill um uh, someone he doesn't know he's gonna kill someone he knows so he tries to kill Sam's girlfriend Molly I didn't I hardly ever mentioned Sam and he's a main character yet Sam and yeah um I forgot to mention the premonition his death was really cool in the premonition because he's like hanging out like kind of like Peter was from like this rail or something like that and this like piece of metal just like a, a sheet of metal just comes out and cuts him in half it was really awesome I didn't cut I, I don't think that's possible to cut him in half like that but because um maybe from a certain distance but that sheet of metal was pretty close it was like uh, like I don't know, you're not gonna see I'll be out of frame but um yeah that was not far I just let my leg by accident there so I'll be like far that 23 or whatever uh, yeah um <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, overall impression of this movie, I really enjoyed it. The twist ending, I won't give that away, cause I think that's something for you guys to see. Definitely, if you guys, if I spoil the movie for you guys, you guys haven't seen the movie. That was your choice to watch this video, so don't leave any negative comments about that. But since you did, you see it, either you did see the movie or you're yet to see the movie, you just don't really care. But um, since you, I suppose some of the movie for it, I recommend you still go see it just for the ending, cause the ending of this movie is great. Great ending, best ending, best ending in the series. It's a great twist ending. You wouldn't see it coming from a mile away. It just it hits you like nothing. It was a great twist ending. Well, it wasn't really the ending. It was like right before the actual ending, and right after that scene, that's a really awesome twist ending. Well, it's part of the twist ending. Yeah, we see Nathan at a bar having a memorial for this douche, the douchebag guy he killed by accident. I think his name is Roy. His friends all the time. He wasn't the best guy to work with, but the doc. He said that the doctor said he did it like a. An autopsy on him, and uh, he found something in his stomach like that, and said that he, the uh, the, um, the doctor said that this it was like a tumor or something. He said that the tumor would like kill him in a matter of days, and that hook didn't kill him before. So um um, uh, and then Nathan's like, huh, I killed. He didn't see them say it, but he's thinking, I right, I killed someone who's really gonna die, and then I don't know where I'm not gonna say what hit him, but like something fell onto this bar. And it, it, it like splattered him all over the place. Like he like comes little pieces, and his hand flies in the screen in 3D. Like, and it was really freaking cool. I really enjoyed it. So, well, based on to say, I really love this movie. It's definitely either the best in the series or my second favorite. Oh, my second favorite, or just up there, part one. Um, definitely worth watching. Um, I'd give it a, um, uh, yeah, I think I'd give it a five out of five. I really enjoyed the movie. For a final destination movie, it was great. Um, great, a really good special effects. They're basically the same budget as the last movie. The last movie had terrible special effects, man. This movie had great special effects. And uh, for you guys who saw my other review, sorry about that, guys. Um, this one's review is gonna be a lot shorter than that one, cause um, in that review, um, I cut off the audio by accident. I recorded, and you won't even be able to hear it because the audio was out. So I'm gonna delete those videos. And for you guys who saw, I had to sit through it. You guys, some of you guys who saw some of that. Sorry that you guys couldn't see the review, but here's my review now, and hopefully this one will come out okay. Well, definitely um, go check out Final Destiny 5. Check it out on 3D. The 3D was great. I might even go see it again. You never know. And uh, please, um, guys, go see it, really, because it's kind of underperforming at the box office, and I still want Final Destiny 6. I know a lot of people even say this is a good movie. They'll be happy if it ends here, but, you know, I go for some more. Um, For me, this series, this series is so fun. It, you know, there's so much fun to watch this movie. Um, so yeah, um, check out FD5, sounds like I haven't said that already. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys, thanks for, uh, this one of our 1988, saying goodbye YouTube, and thank you for watching.